Morning. I swear a lot. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Deck Delusions, which is a name submitted by Butsagonton that everyone seems to like, and I also like, so the series is now called Deck Delusions. Let me repeat that multiple times to make sure I imprint it into my brain. Deck Delusions, yes. This is now called Deck Delusions. So, I don't know if I'm necessarily going to set this up as a uh, as a standard way of doing things, but I think I might kind of run this so that one episode is something I come up with, and then one episode is something you guys come up with, and kind of go like that. But for my part, for what I'm doing right now, it's not something interesting per se, as much as something I want to check out because I've never done it, or never really looked into it very much, and thought we could perhaps have some fun with it, and that's the idea of soloing, and solo builds. And I figured that the best person to test solo builds against would be the Red Mist. So, we're gonna have a couple swings at her. I hope you really like Geb's theme, because you're gonna be hearing it a lot today. We're gonna- we're gonna have a couple goes at this. I'm gonna set up some, uh, some- some battles and stuff. And we'll see what we can do. So, first up... I've say I've done the easiest and most obvious one first, so we can get it out of the way, because it's obvious, but I... Forgot to give Geb cards. One sec. That was close, nearly fucked that up. So, I decided initially to go for, um... Yeah, Gebra to fight Kali. Have the, uh, dream mirror match, as it were, to see... If Geb truly is the strongest version of herself now, or if she used to have a lot more back in the day. And she has Legendary, Retaliate, the strongest, Speed 3, Mio's Prowess, obviously, Lone Fixer, Offensive Position, and Skin Prescript. My hope being to simply overwhelm Kali so early on that she can't really build up a head of steam or retaliate, but of course, it's worth pointing out, when her HP drops to 350, she will manifest Ego. So that's a thing. But I'm thinking if Geb just fucking goes for it, might be able to just overwhelm her in that sense. I've got a couple fights lined up, and they're all gonna be solo fights, but this is the one I'm starting with. But as I was coming up with the idea for this video, I pictured in my head, like, <laughs> Geb going up to Andrew and being like, So you can, like, summon the old version of me at any time, right? Like, you can just do that whenever. And Angela's like, yeah. And they kind of stare at each other for a bit, and Angela's like, I'll go set it up, go get ready. And Roland's standing there, like, being the assistant, you know, standing there, completely blank face, not really showing any emotion. And the moment both of them walk off, he just runs to every department and is like, yo, Geb's gonna fight herself. <laughs> get down to the reception area, it's gonna be sick. And then he goes to Netsuk and he's like, get some beer, it's gonna be dope. And then, by the time Geb arrives to fight Callie, everyone's there. On, like, bleachers, <laughs> with drinks and shit, ready to watch the fight go down. But, uh, I, you know, I've never really done much solo play in this game, so we'll see how this goes. This could probably be built better. I've just gone with what I know for Cali before Geb at the moment, but I might play around with that as and when. Let's give it a go, see what we can do. Ah, oh, the rifts, I missed them. Let's see if you have the talent to keep up with me. Myself from the past, huh. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. Oh, we've rolled well to begin with, it must be said. So, you're starting with Upstanding Slash. I think getting Focus Spirit going would actually be quite useful. And you're already using Onrush. Fuck me. Okay, well. I just wasn't expecting her to start with Onrush, I'm not gonna lie. That's probably not gonna go very well, but I suggest we do something else then. Instead of trying to hit that directly. Go for a Spear on that. Take the Onrush, it'll be fine. Although the stat, the fragile will make it rough, and we'll go from there. Good. Not good. That was decent. That's not decent. Poor start. Poor start. So this we're going to need to be very careful about. Vampirism. Yeah, that's probably going to be quite useful. She already has three now, which is a concern. Spear could probably be countered by the counter die if we get lucky. Who knows? Uh, I'm thinking... Upstanding slash... Ah, oh, but there's no going to be no power bonus from, uh... Myongus there. It's just going to be our strength bonuses. Hopefully that's enough. And then... <sighs> yeah, no, do it this way. L uh, 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 uh... Upstanding slash on that, and then level slash on that. Because if you can inflict some bleed, we can start benefiting from it. Good. Good. Not good. Better. 
I'm actually having moments where I can't tell who's who. <laughs> it's getting a little awkward. Counter Dice game wants to power. Yeah, we're gonna need that. Yeah, we're gonna need that, uh, especially now. I didn't think she'd gain a motion die quite so quickly. Or speed die, I mean to say. We can let Spear get through, that's fine. That's not fine. We can't really afford to take um, bleed. If we take bleed, we're in huge trouble. So, inflicting more bleed on her will allow us to do more damage. Yeah, level slash that, and then use this to get bonuses on um, Spear, because we're going to need to draw cards. Good. Very good. Exceptionally brilliant, in fact. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, this was... Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh, ah. Things certainly happened. See, absorption only works upon defeating an enemy. Although it will still work for the purposes of, um, yeah, because they'll gain strength based on the amount of HP. And we've got, uh, uh, the other thing, vampirism. So that would work. Dipsia, definitely Dipsia for the health regen. Upstanding slash. You got Onrush going, that sucks. Our counter die might be able to do this. It's possible. You're gonna have to meet Onrush with Onrush because nothing else will be it. You're gonna have to meet Onrush with your infinite die, which I guess is better anyway because it'll gain more power. You won't gain any power on this one though. Standing slash that, level slash that, and hope for the best. It's all just crossed fingers, really. Good, good, and we're gaining strength this time. Oh, brilliant. I really am finding it hard to tell who's who. Okay, that was good. Yes, this is good things. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I'm really finding it hard to tell who's who here. Yes. Smile, I suppose. It's not going to be long before she... In fact, literally this turn, she's going to stagger. So all we need to do... Oh, that could be an idea. So why don't we just manifest Ego first? Beat her to it, you know? Fully recover stagger resist, which we're going to need. Do it there to make sure it works. Counter die would take care of that, that's fine. Spear. Met with spear. So if I'm right... Yeah, uh, Manifesting Ego doesn't draw cards. That does draw cards. Just go with that for now, because you'll gain benefits for doing that. Should be fine. There it is. Getting all that health back, gaining strength. Now both sides. <laughs> That's very cool. That's very cool. I like that a lot. The real fight starts now. Yeah, it does. Okay, alright, okay. You're going great at split horizontal, huh? Mass summation. We are gaining a lot more strength than she is, so I think great at split ver vertical could actually do it. Potentially. You can't counter a Massimation with a Massimation, so that's out. Give it a try. It's the big clash. It's the big moment. This might be a bad moment, though, because we might be about to run out of um, uh, uh, cards and light. The sustain game might be a bit of an issue here. Let's see how it goes. Fuck it. We're here to have fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, it did nothing. There we go. You love to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, double, yeah. Oh, 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 it's fun. Yes, indeed. Nullify stag damage from attacks. Honestly, that might be really useful, but we're not really taking hits at the moment. We'll go hello, because the increase to strength is just amazing. Oh, and Mimicry, yeah, I do believe so. What do you got now, Geb? 
Ah, Callie, you're using Grey Split Vertical. The funny thing is, we might be able to counter that exactly the same way that we, like, we're playing parallel, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that might work. <laughs> Maybe. Gaining seven strength. Kind of got to try, really, because otherwise, um... It's going to go real wrong. Like, just have to try that. Level slash, that's handy. You can deal with spear with a counter dice, so level slash that. Very good. Then... Yeah, we're just... We're, well, actually, it's slightly awkward. We're probably going to take a spear hit, but it's okay. Because there's two spears, and we don't have any three cards. And again, she's probably going to stagger by the end of this turn, actually. Especially if we happen to just go all in. I think we might actually end it right here. Oh! Well, that's a game changer. Youch. 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 Oof. Oof. That was pretty bad. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. It's not fine. We might have just lost. That actually might have. I should have gone for the null of. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's nothing more than a cheap imitation. <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> all because, all because my mass attack didn't roll good enough. And it was so close as well. It was a direct fucking, um, what's this, uh, it, it was equal. They both rolled the same number, but you have to beat an opponent's die. Oh yeah, I'll lose spell. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, that was that was what I said. That's what I said I'd do. Here we go. We give her a deep wound. Let's try that again because I'm not entirely satisfied with that result. It's fucking bullshit. It was hype. It was definitely hype, but it was fucking bullshit. Like, if she'd straight up beat us and it was no contest, I would have been like, fine, whatever. It doesn't bother me, but what bullshit are you trying to pull here? Oh, yeah, we're doing it again, aren't we? Similar situation to last time, really. Give it a go. See what happens. Nice. Nice. Perfect. Oh, very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Lots of bleeds. That one minor change has made a big difference. Vampirism. Yes, please. That will help a lot. Onrush is a rough one because we can't really contest it, right? I guess... I guess we could create a split vertical. That would... That would work, actually. That would work very well. Because, um... Create a split vertical... Would defeat Onrush. Actually, if we're going to do it that way, then get the full fucking... Well, not that there is any bonuses. Oh, no, you can't. Okay, that's annoying. Yeah, that will go first, and it will get countered. Then these will clash. This will win. It will destroy a combat page, which will be this one, and then we won't take any damage. Big hits. Big hits for days. very cool. I like it. It's very fun. I, I mean, I'm sure, like, you guys have probably seen this a million fucking times, right? I'm sure for you lot, the novelty of this fight, of this concept, has been completely drained dry. This is very much showcasing my immaturity when it comes to PM stuff, where I haven't been here very long, but, uh, yeah, I'm, this, I'm having a real good time. This is a lot of fun. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, oh, you're only doing two, but you've got a great split vertical, and I just used up... Oh, thank fuck for that. Alright, we might be able to counter that then. Maybe. That's not even a guarantee, actually. Well. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We don't even specifically really need to actually fight that, because the counter die could counter it, so... So focus on our economy a little bit, perhaps. Oh, it's very good. Oh, it's exceptionally good. Nope, no chance. That's gonna hurt a lot. 
Yeah, that hurt a lot. But it all went okay, really. So yeah, absorption, because it's very good. Um, smile, I guess. But we have learned now that when we get the opportunity to completely negate stagger damage, we take it. Yeah, we make sure to select that. Two onrushes. She's out for blood. That's actually... Ooh, that might be a bit much. That might be a bit much. The four strength added to that, so that'd be 10 to 14, and then with um, Mio's Prower... Fuck's sake. Mio's Prowess, it won't let me check it for some reason. Uh, I just wanted to look. I think it's like plus five or something in there, maximum plus five. So that would be like plus nine to this, which is... 15 to 19 or something like that, which might be enough, but probably isn't enough, bearing in mind she is gaining one strength. Time to roll the die. We ignore that because the counter die can take care of it. We won't gain any power bonuses for this. And if both those onrushes get through, we will stagger. No two ways about it. No two ways about it. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit. Oh, so close. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? How did I do so well the first time? I think I may have just gotten unlucky. Yeah, leave. I refuse to give up on this one because I know Geb can win. Straight up. But this does shake my theory that Geb is the strongest she's ever been now because um, this is not going well. One more time, and if I fuck it up, we move on. Because I don't want to obsess over this too much, but I thought this was going to be a clean sweep, a fucking slam dunk. Like, this was supposed to be the fun thing that we started the video with. Very good. Acceptable. Definitely vampirism. Two spears and an onrush. We do have the means to deal with onrush. With our own onrush. Hopefully ours is stronger, otherwise, whoops. Two spears. I guess it's going to be spear in return, isn't it? Go for it. That's what we want to see. That's very good. The counter die have really been earning their rent. Thank fuck for that. We've got another on Russian hand, so we still have that to play with. Good, good. It's going well. Roll of the wolf. Good, good. It's going well. Okay. We're back in the driving seat now. Great split vertical. Hmm. We do have that too. I guess this would be the time, wouldn't it? Huh. We can ignore Spear, because the counter die will take care of it. Good stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Good, good, good. We couldn't really afford to lose that one. Okay, it's going just fine. And now we get absorption and start really gaining some strength. Well, we can gain a maximum of three, which is still very good. You're doing great at split vertical again? You could just spam that? Oh, I didn't think you could just spam that. That is vertical, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You can just spam that. I see. Okay. Well, onrush is the only chance of beating it. There's no... <laughs> There's no alternative. It's that or nothing. Level slash spear. Spear can be taken care of. I counter die. Level slash. Focus spirit. You might need more strength very soon. 
if things go well, then by the end of this turn, she'll stagger. So... Actually, you could just use... Sp yeah, she's spear. I don't know why I'm acting like I need to take that hit when I don't. That's good. That's not good. Because that has removed another combat page. That's helpful, at least. Get all that health back we just lost. That's not great. Instinct for more health regain. Mimicry for obvious reasons. Oh, God. Ah, uh, I'm not ready for that. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm not ready. Ah, oh, shit, I'm not ready. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm not ready. Why can't you use Ego? It is mass summation. So there's a strong chance she might actually be able to counter it. I think Spear is the best bet for dealing with that, unless... I think Spear is the best bet for dealing with that. We'll fucking see how that goes. Spear can be ignored. Gonna have to try. Oh boy. Oh, this could get rough. This could get very rough. You're gonna need to manifest Ego if you want to catch up or keep up. You'll get a... Doesn't she draw a bunch... No, she doesn't... Oh, she doesn't draw a cut. Uh, we'll see what happens. Yes, it works. Okay, we're fine. All right, no big deal. All right, it's all good. That went very well. That went shockingly well. This continues to go very well. Okay. Everything's fine. No worries. No worries. <laughs> I can't believe this took me like three tries. That, just in case something goes wrong. Because... Just in case something goes wrong. Because apparently it can and will. There we go. You're using onrush, do we have? We have an onrush to counter with. We also have greater split vertical, or great split vertical, which I'm inclined to just do. Because fuck them, I guess. Upstanding slash. What's this? Upstanding slash. A little bit of focus spit. That's level slash. That's level slash. Spear. Theoretically, the fight should be over by the end of this turn. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, 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 it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, it's over. Yeah, they're done. Yeah. Sorry, Callie, but Geb is actually the best. She acted just like me. How did... Oh, yeah. See... Like, I know, I know, many people many people disagree with me on this front, and I think that's completely legit, because I don't honestly, objectively believe I'm correct about this. But I still believe, deep in my heart, that, uh, Geb, now, now that she's, um, you know, rec re like, reclaimed that sort of, that page, that key page, the Red Mist page and all that, now that she's kind of herself got all of her old stuff back, she is now the strongest version of herself that has ever existed. There are many arguments against this. I agree. Spoilers, by the way, um, for those of you who haven't beaten the game, if you haven't beaten the game, then skip ahead. But uh, in the final, final, final post credit scrap, she has Myongus. She straight up has Myongus, and Myongus is what makes her stronger than Kali. So I firmly believe that Gebra has actually become stronger than she's ever been before. But, if you were to say, no, Foreman, I don't think she has, I would not be inclined to disagree with you. Like, I wouldn't objectively disagree with you. I would keep to my opinion, perhaps. But, um... I, I wouldn't be able to turn around and say, no, you're wrong, and I'm right. Because I know for a fact that I'm probably objectively wrong. We'll be Bad Wolf. Oh, that's a really good one. Oh, that's a great... Oh, that looks amazing. That was the first fight. Well, first three fights. And we managed it. But this has definitely taught me that fighting Kali is something to not take lightly, and I need to be very careful about this. So I'm going to build the next deck, and we're going to have round two. And out of fairness for what we just did, um, each character, because it's going to be one-on-one -on -one fights, each character will get three tries 
to defeat Cali, and I will forfeit if I think it's not even close. Like, I won't do three fights if it's not remotely close. I will if I think I can make changes that will allow them to win, but if I think it's completely hopeless, I won't bother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round two. So I picture in this scenario I've concocted, you know, Geb won, and people are like, whoa, that's amazing. But it is Geb, it's not too surprising. And then Bina's like, I'm pretty good now. You know, I'm pretty tough. I've gotten really good now. I reckon I can take Callie. So she steps up and is like, let me have a try. And I'm less confident about this one, I've got to admit. Don't get me wrong, Bina is very powerful. Bina is exceptionally powerful, especially in this game. Exceptionally powerful. But I'm not sure I know how to use her well enough to scrape out a win here. Like, fairy stacking, sure. That might be difficult to do. But to this end, I've tried to build um, Bina relatively smartly, but we'll see how it goes. She's got her shit, obviously. I've given her Lone Fixer and Retaliate, because it occurred to me those counter die were actually crucial, and Bina doesn't get any counter die from her cards. I gave her easygoing breather and skin prescript because I figured an extremely important thing here is going to be to make sure she can play her fucking cards. And degraded pillar is going to be extremely important here. I don't know how this will go because she can't stack strength as easily as Geb could. But like I said, I, I'm going to give each character three tries to win. So, you know, we'll see what works and what doesn't work. What do you talk like you know me? Be mindful of your own well-being. It's me, Bina, being a shit- Oh fuck, you're already going for it, okay. Degraded pillar. Straight away, I suppose. You don't get Lone Fixer at the start of the battle. So if we have to take up Standing Slash, then we just have to take it. But um, I would rather start landing Degraded Fairy. That's actually quite important. Although, yeah, the Counter Die is going to be an issue. The Counter Die is going to be an issue. What can I do, though? I have to try. That's good. Not great. That's better. Okay. The, uh, the, the abnormality page is going to be very important, actually. Big eyes. Big bird with many eyes. Watch the forest. Big eye, bird's eyes. We've got a lot. I can see real far. Don't bother reading the text. That's what it said. So we're playing a bit of a risk now. Because they do an extra load of damage, but we gain power on clashes. See, this is a little more manageable. The problem is we don't really get to pick our engagements anymore. Spear we can let go, probably. Go degraded pillar again. That's very good. Very good. Yes. 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 Yes, fear of fairy is going to be very helpful here. I don't believe Geb even has evade die, does she? I'm pretty sure she- not Geb, sorry, Bina. I'm pretty sure she uses block die. I think the weight of sin will be useful. Bina, you don't have enough speed die. It bothers me. Ah, oh, great, split vertical. We're doing that now. And we don't have... We don't have what we need to stop that. I should have saved that, really. You're just gonna have to take Greater Split Vertical then. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Whatever. Fuck. Okay. Alright, focus on what you can do rather than what you can't do. It's a shame, because if we... Yeah, I don't think it would have made much difference. That's on hit, so that would need to beat Greater Split Vertical, which it won't, it won't, there's no fucking way. <sighs> there's a small chance, but it's an extremely small chance that Degraded Lock could do it. Honestly, I say try. Give it a go, it's hype. It's hype after all, it's hype. If it wins, it'll be super. Which, which one are you even targeting? That one, okay. 
If you win this, it'll be super hype, and if you don't, no one will be surprised. The Graded Fairy. Give it a try. Let's see how this goes. That's not good. That's a... Ah! Oh! It's okay. It all worked out. It all worked out. Everything's fine. All characters gain one sin at 50% chance. For characters with plus five sin, they take damage equal to 10% of the max HP at the start of the scene, and all sin is removed. Sin can be transferred versus... Taking damage the first die of the first page librarian uses next scene gains power or add a small beak. Take 5% restore light. Punishment, I suppose. That could be very useful. But so could that. We'll go Apocalypse. Oh, you're, you're, you're entirely targeting that one die. I didn't think you'd do that. I didn't think you'd do that. I can't be honest. I didn't think. I didn't think you'd do that. Mmm. Mmm. I didn't think you'd do that. Ah. You see, I didn't think you would do that. No, I didn't. We can block two die, and that's it. That's rough. We can block one die. <laughs> and that's it. No, two die. Sorry, it is two die. Okay. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fuck it. Fuck it. Just fuck it. Just whatever, man. I'm going for it. I don't give a shit. Stupid thing is, that would be more easily blocked by our counter die than by, like, you know, using cards, but... Fuck it, we're gonna take some hits. We are gonna take some hits. So let's try and make things problematic for our next turn. Oh my god, that worked. It's fine. It's fine. That's fine. Good. Get that health back. Get all of it back. That was quite a scene. <laughs> I'm just having a look. <laughs> just having a look. See, that could result in more health regen, but this would result in more power. Because Geb is just faster than us. And if her health gets low enough, we would destroy all of her die every time, which means we could use our single deuce die, like our, our pages with one die on them, to just dominate any... any fight, any clash. The tilted scale would allow us to recover more HP, but I don't think recovering HP is our issue right now. Let's go Salvation. Jeff definitely just issue. Okay, she's lost two speed die. And we have four. Four is better than three. I know this is difficult to keep up with, but... Four is, in fact, better than three. And she hasn't rolled very high on a speed die this time, which is quite annoying. <laughs> Would have been perfect if she had, but no. The first die of the first combat page will gain plus two power. Two to four, even, I think it says. Yeah. And we've got Apocalypse and Justicia ready to go. Have we got... Uh, we've got Degraded Pillar. We need to save those. We desperately need to save those. Those are extremely important for the nearby future. Because she's going to start throwing out, like, greater split vertical and shit like that, and we need to be ready. And that's not even taking on Rush into consideration. With your power bonuses, I reckon Degraded Fairy can deal with that. And I reckon Degraded Fairy can deal with that. And it's just a level slash. Fuck it. And do that for now. Good. Good. 
Okay, I think next turn she's gonna manifest. Well, that's uh, yep, she's gonna manifest. Let's start this for real. I'm gonna crush you. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, great split horizontal. Just that one for now, which is Mastimation. Which means the Graded Pillar doesn't actually help that much with this one, although it does have high numbers, which might be enough. The first die on the first combat page played this scene will gain plus two to four power, which means... I'm gonna need to do some math real quick. So that's 13 to 20. 18 to 29 with the power bonuses. I think Degraded Pillar is the best chance dealing with that straight up. To remind me... Yeah, we gain extra power against faster die as well. Okay. Ignore that because it's Spear. So you could clash with that instead. Okay. I'm not sure if that's entirely an option though. Ah, oh, it's a tricky one. Greater Fairy. We might end up just taking some hits. That might be inevitable. Yeah, because she's throwing out three spears. And that's... Hmm. We could at least damage her ability to use really strong stuff in the future. Do it there, because you'll gain the power bonus. Leave that one blank and see what you can do. Oh, so close. Oh, no. Oh. Well, that helps. You need that health back. Ah, no, she's... Yeah, it's a... Oh. Oh, boy. Uh, is there something that can help me? Activates when the selected librarian possesses all of the following abnormality pages. Big eyes, small beak, long arms. Do you... I don't think you have those. Big eyes. You only have big eyes. So, that... The beast is out. If all five librarians each have an abnormality page, gain to one... Okay, so that's not going to work. I mean, peace is the only thing that we can use. Lamp. It's not strictly speaking over, but we need to make sure we win everything this turn. And that has to be a degraded pillar job. That has to be. You're gonna take at least one hit this turn, and that might be one too many. Try. We don't really have any other options. I was kind of hoping that would heal you. Not gonna lie. Nope, that's death. Very fucking close, though. That was very close. I feel like that could work. Could work. We just need a little... Maybe I just need to play it better, or maybe there's a change we can make. Honestly, instead of skim prescript, I say um, keeping in stride would probably be a better choice. Just a little bit of extra health regen throughout the fight. Because we're already gaining health for winning clashes, so maybe just gain more health for winning clashes. Might It would have made the difference there. But much like last time, I doubt this is going to go as simply as it did the first time. The second attempt will probably <coughs> end in failure. And an embarrassing failure at that. But, you know. Something's off about the atmosphere. What's up with her? Your willingness to stand by me is admirable, but please do beware. Mm. So on this first turn, you don't actually gain benefits, which is a bit of an issue. And then, I don't know. See if you can. I'm not expecting much. Hey, that's good. That's very good. That's very good. That's fine. She didn't gain any benefits for that because she didn't do enough damage. It's 
it's going to be either eternally lit long arms long arms if we can set up the beast that would be lovely and in fact maybe i will also what was it long arms no longer take damage from L like uh, bleed for instance so that mitigates bleed immediately and now we're gaining a strength bonus you're throwing two die at five and that's okay Honestly, this is simplicity itself. Yeah, just uh, degraded fairy for that, counter die for that, and degraded chain to keep her uh, from having a full amount of speed die. Not great, but it is what it is. That's good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Hey. Big eyes is actually really useful, so we definitely want that. Unfortunately, you have more speed die now, which is unfortunate. I did mention that it was unfortunate, didn't I? Yes, it is unfortunate. But we'll work around it. Yeah, use degraded lock on that. And then you've got two spears. One of them can be blocked by a uh, counter die real easy. Maybe instead. Degraded fairy on that. And then a degraded shockwave on that. We'll run it that way. Ah, oh, it's quite good. Ah, oh, yes, it's doing very good. Less good, but it was fine. Good. Yes. Excellent. Small beak. There it is. Even though these would probably be better, like, tilted scale would be a lot better. We're going for the beast. The beast. I've never done the beast before, so this is actually going to be quite fun. Uh, Twilight, I don't need. Justicia for dealing with uh, cards that we can't get with. With, uh, the, you know what I mean, the non-recycling. Yeah, like this situation, for instance. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I have two degraded pillars, you idiot. I hope you enjoy eating shit. <laughs> How about some of this? Fool. That works. There we go. No, sorry. <laughs> and we can still get tilted scale, which is just amazing. And apocalypse, which is very useful. Music's picking up. You'll love to hear it. Level scene. You've only got one level slash. Oh, you're in trouble. Fuck it. Capitalize on her misery. Well, actually, no. No, no, no. Do that a different way. Degraded fairy to clash with both. Degraded chain to get rid of one of her speed die. We're a bit low on cards, must be said. You know what? There's no reason to push it too hard. Just go for it. going just fine. The longer it takes for her to manifest, the better it is for us, actually. Although, once we run out of emotion levels, that will be an issue. And consider that. Greatest split vertical. We've got something to... Well, we might... Hmm. Oh, hmm. Actually. No, I say that. We might not have something to deal with that. Apocalypse is strong, but is it strong enough? We're not gaining a lot of those bonuses we were before. We are getting big eyes, which is very nice. That's 15 to 25. That's 20 to 25. Oh, it's an awkward situation. Apocalypse won't gain plus eight power, so... I say... I say we just fuck it. We roll the dice and we use just this year and see what happens. It won't be the end of the world if we take it. It just won't be good. <laughs> you know, uh, I don't really know how else to put that. That's gonna have to be blocked by counter die because we can't we can't reach it. Spear. Actually, what am I talking about? What am I? Why am I being stupid? Why? 
Why, why, why am I being stupid? Why am I being stupid? That can be blocked by Coward Die. And then hit it with a degraded chain. Although, that feels less useful now. Hit it with degraded lock. Waste of light. Very good. That was lovely. Oh, I thought it worked for a second there. I thought it worked. Ah, it did not work. It didn't do that much damage, though, to be honest. The Beast! All dice of characters targeting or targeted by this character unaffected by power gain or loss in their minimum and maximum values are lowered by three. At the end of the scene, all other characters take 15 damage and this character fully restores light. Beast! It's a beast! A big scary monster lives in the forest! Beaner is fucking terrifying. You know it. I know it. We know it. Beak. Oh my god, it gave her the wings! That's very cool. And the beautiful thing is, I don't think that lowers the power of, um, or negates the bonus power effects on Beaner's die, so... Uh, yeah, Callie's in trouble. We can play this nice and chill, I think. Small Beak is now useless because we fully restore light at the end of every turn, I'm pretty sure. We'll play it chill for now. We want to make sure we have cards to play. Oh, it's a bad time for you. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Using Greater Split Horizontal. Yeah, I see it. Mastimation 28 to 42. Now, how do we play this? I think Degraded Lock is, has the best chance of success. But I'm really not actually um, confident on that one. And you're using all of your die to target one, one bit, one section. Which is unfortunate, but it is the way of things. Well, we get all our light back at the end of each turn, so let's make sure we don't take too much damage. We can't actually stop any of her attacks right now, so... We'll go this way. This way we gain some protection, so whatever damage she does won't be too bad. And we're also doing damage in return. And that, that, uh, that did some stuff. Yeah, that didn't work. Yeah, yeah, that didn't work. Ooh. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Barely felt it. You didn't even do anything. Spear and upstanding slash. Oh, you're in so much trouble. You're in so much trouble. Ignore spear. The cow die can take care of it. Yes, they can. You're fucked now, buddy. You're fucked now, buddy. Yes. Remove all of her speed die. Use beak. I'd be surprised if she lasted this turn. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes, indeed. Oh boy. We're not doing that much damage, but we don't fucking need to. Oh yeah. Was that a singularity? I let my guard down. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you fucking did. Yeah, you fucking did. Nice that there's unique stagger dialogue for fighting Bina. All right, well, I want to do all the cool shit. Uh, we regain all our light, so what difference does it make? <laughs> I'm going to fucking do everything. <laughs> Actually, we want just this year to go for... Although, no, it's max HP. Yeah, so that would do max amount of damage regardless. Yeah, we're going to do all the cool shit because this went from silly to... Uh, to from serious to fun. Now it's just dumb bullshit, and I'm all, I'm all here for it. I'm here for it. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we get to see Beaner at full power. Oh, you love to see it. Why is there someone capable of wielding those powers in a place like this? Oh, that was great. Oh, that was a ton of fun. I really enjoyed that one. That was really good. 
That was my favorite fight. Like, I loved the, the Geb Cali fight, but that was my favorite. That was fucking sick. <laughs> Bina is so good. So fucking good. And to think, I wasn't confident she could do it. But this does tie into what I said before, ladies and gentlemen, that I don't know how to play Bina very well. So, yeah, that's a very clear example of me not knowing how to play Bina very well, because I didn't know how badly she could wreck Callie's shit. Oh my god. Bina is the strongest version of Bina. I know she was really strong as Galleon. But the thing is, this is why Bina and Geb, I think, are stronger than Callie, and I think it is Galleon. I can't remember if that's her name or not. Or oh, Garion. Is it Garion? Might be Garion. I can't remember. Point is, this is why I think the older versions, older modern versions of these characters are stronger than their younger counterparts, because they're smarter now. They know more. Bina can beat Callie now because Bina knows about Ego and is fully familiar with it and is gener generally smarter. Geb understands more of her failings. Geb knows how to utilize her abilities. That's why these characters, in my opinion, this is strictly in my opinion, this is not fact. Don't quote me as if this is fact to anyone because it's not. But this is why I think Geb and Bina are stronger than Callie and Garion. Because they're older and they're smarter and they know what they're doing. But there are many arguments you can make against that. For instance, Geb isn't actually doesn't actually have Callie's strength anymore. She's just using the book. Like, that is a very key point. We're also making use of abnormality pages and ego pages and all these kinds of things. Like, there are arguments against what I'm saying. Absolutely. And if you were to say, I don't agree, I'm like, that's fine. Because I don't 100% I don't think I'm correct. I'm not saying it as a fact. But I personally believe that Geb and Bina are so much stronger than they were when they were younger. But with that... Uh, not really stated as a fact and still up in the air, I guess. We move on to the third fight, and this one is going to- I think this is going to be quite interesting. This is going to be a fun one. I think you guys can guess what I'm going to do, because you might have noticed a pattern here, but I think it'll be fun nonetheless. So, ladies and gentlemen, as I picture the scene in my head once more, Bina would have just defeated Callie and would probably have sauntered off acting like it was no big deal. As if, like, yes, that's what I thought would happen, and it did. Now, Roland's, like, six beers in by this point, and he's been shouting and cheering, and, like, Netflix has been sitting there quietly, and he's been fucking making a... Roland's been making a nuisance out of himself, because he's a little drunk. And now he stood up, and he's like, I bet I could do it, let me have a try, and he's... Put it, he puts his gloves on the wrong hands and stumbles into the ring, as it were, to try his hand against the Red Mist. Now, I don't know how to feel about this one. A lot of the abno pages of the floor of general works aren't quite as devastating as, say, philosophy and literature. And Roland himself, I think, may struggle to deal with certain events unless things go in a very specific way, right? Furioso, for instance, is something that's going to have to be used very carefully. And setting up Furioso is going to be very important, but in terms of passive attributions, he's got his standard, of course. He's also got 12 fixes, Deflect Assault, which is a block die instead of a slash die, and is lower. So, I'm a little iffy on that one, but we'll see what happens. Lone Fixer and Keeping in Stride. Deflect Assault will really be intended to kind of mitigate damage. We'll probably need to make use of Crystal Atelier to actually get some real counter potential. 12 fixes. It's going to take a while for it to actually shine, and even then, it's only plus one. It's not incredible, but the minimum roll boosts are very good. The Black Silence, every th dice on every third comment page use gains two power. That could be quite handy, but it'll be difficult to plan around. And Lone Fixer doesn't come into play until the second scene. Also, I've heard that... I haven't played with uh, Roland very much, but I've heard that his cards, his deck in general, can suffer from economy issues in the long term. So this could be tricky. Well, let's see what happens. Like I said, three tries, and we'll evaluate it. Are you part of a fixer office or some kind of syndicate? The red mist in our past glory still feels unreal. I think he sobered up very quickly. So immediately, oh, well, we, have, we do have wheels industry, which actually could be very useful in certain, certain, certain circumstances. Stumbling over my words. But this could be tricky, especially in situations like this. Well, if um, the counter die has a chance of being either of those cards, it would be Spear. So we need to contend Focus Spirit. If we can get Durandal going, that'd be handy. And Zelkova Workshop might have the least um, practicality, so I guess we'll start with that and see what happens. Good. Ah, I thought it would do more than block one. That's not good. 
That's better. Okay. Well, that was a bit of an iffy start, but hey, this is where things get awkward, because I'm not sure really how much use these are going to be. Honestly, pale hands could be a good shout for trying to stagger her. That could be quite important. The chance to just not take damage at all would be great, and some speed would be nice, and max HP, but... I think it's between Scars or Pale Hands. Offense or defense, really, is the key here. And I'm going to go with offense and see what happens. Which is awkward, because now she's on the offensive. We can't use Furioso yet. Which is not of a, which is no surprise. Um, it seems Block, Coward, Die don't work quite the way I hoped. Or it matched the attack rather than actually deflecting it. We'll find out more this scene. You are gaining your strength now, and that's very good. That means Ranga Workshop could deal with uh, Spear. And then we just need to deal with Upstanding Slash. Try and get an early advantage. Once we get our emotion level high enough, we'll start gaining more bonuses. Plus more Abno pages and stuff. That could be quite handy. Good. Good. Marvelous. Excellent. Brilliant. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah, that's not great. Okay, so we're going to want to get Crystal Atelier going, if possible. Scars. Oh god, she's got more. She has more now, and she's using Greater Split Vertical. Which is a 20 to 39. Wheels Industry is 14 to 24. I just don't quite see it working, but we need to try. This could be a tricky one. This actually could be really difficult. Trying to get this to work. Try Atelier Logic. It will go first, so you will be guaranteed to get to do that, which is good. Nope, 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 that did not work. That did not work. Ouch. He staggered. He's fucked, ladies and gentlemen. He stumbled into the ring and he's about to stumble back out. Marionette might be useful for dealing with cards. I don't think we're going to get the opportunity to do that shit, really. Uh, yeah, nah, it's over. Yeah. Oh, well, you managed to not get hurt by that. That's good. Yeah, it's over. Okay, all right. This one's going to be tricky. A fancy looking bunch with no substance. Uh huh. Okay, this one's going to be tricky. I need to reevaluate this. I don't think the 12 fixes is quite enough. Um, I also think that Retaliate is not, like, Deflect Assault is not enough. We need Retaliate, so get rid of that. Retaliate seems entirely necessary for uh, making sure this goes well. So get that in there. And then we've got three left to work with. All right, I'm going to risk, um, you know, getting rid of Keeping in Stride, and I'm going to try and focus on increasing Roland's power. So retaliate to ensure that we actually potentially win those clashes. Lone Fixer, obviously, for the strength, and then Lock's potential for more power. We'll see. We'll see. But I think Roland might be a bit beyond himself here. I'm sure people can do this. I'm sure this is possible. I'm sure it's possible, but, um... Yeah, might be a bit much for me, perhaps. Maybe my skill level isn't quite high enough to handle this one. <laughs> We'll see. You're starting with Onrush, you fucking psycho. Okay, all right, well. I guess. And then Spear, which can be countered by the counter die, which gives us actually a free opportunity to do whatever we want. So, Ranga Workshop. Give it a try. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, because you're not gaining your bonuses yet. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, um, um, yeah, I didn't, yeah, I guess you couldn't be, uh, huh? Yeah, Roland, sit back down, buddy. It's getting embarrassing. <laughs> Ooh, that didn't go well. Ooh, that didn't go well. Okay, yeah, that didn't go well at all. Oh, all right then. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll lose the battle and forfeit. I've got like 50,000 Lobotomy Corporation uh, books, so it doesn't matter. I'm not going to count that as a try because that went so fucking quickly. So, still second try. 
Okay, come on, Roland. You can do it, buddy. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. You're the black silence, for fuck's sake. You, you, you gotta... Oh, fuck, on rush already. Okay. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why? I'd love to hit him with Durandal, but... When we're not gaining strength bonuses, it's not quite strong enough. So I'm thinking, um... Oh, but without health regen, we can't really just let attacks in. But if she's going to start the battle with Onrush, we... Trying to counter that is almost pointless. Because we just can't deal with it. Wheels industry is not strong enough right now. Nothing is. No, so just don't worry about it, I suppose. Don't fixate on what you can't change. Just go muck workshop. Yeah, that was painful. That's good. That's neat. That was a start. Okay. Ghost Scars, because that actually earned its money last time. And now she's got three die, and that's a problem. But we're gaining strength, and that's a good. You're directing all of your attacks on one die. But we need to stop Focus Spirit from getting through. That's very important. Durandal should be able to deal with that with the bonuses we're getting. And then Crystal Atelier would allow us an additional, um... Counter die, which should help the situation. That's not good. That is. Good. 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 This all helps. Very good. Very good. Okay, alright, Roland, you're doing better this time. Kinda. I'm wondering if Curiosity might be a good idea, because it will always ensure that he has cards. But it also means whatever our hand is at any given time would be completely random. Fuck it. Not using any more big attacks. We're probably going to need to use Crystal Atelier again for that extra counter die to make sure we don't take unnecessary damage. Oh boy. That can be countered. That needs to be dealt with. I would love to use Durandal, but we need to get the uh, Lock's potential going. Crystal Atelier. And go for it. That worked out. That scares... That scared me that that didn't... Oh. It's fine, it's fine. Except it's not fine. That's really painful. Ow. Okay, well then... I mean, that's nice, but... Fuck it, Sword of Frost. Slowing it down would be nice. Marionette to deal with things that are beyond our ability to deal with. Like, oh, I don't know if it's strong enough to deal with that, actually. Ah! You're gonna have to try. So what, Wheels Industry is 14 to 24, and Marionette is 19 to 27. That is literally your best chance for dealing with that. You have to try. No other two ways about it. You have to. You have to. You just have to. You're doing spears across the board, I see. That's fine. We only need one coward die. Unless that fails, at which point we're in big trouble. We'll use Wheels Industry because it's the one you haven't used yet. And Atelier Logic, because I'd really like you to not take a hit, if that's alright. That's alright. Good. Very good. Big hit. Good. Yes, it works. It works. Oh, that didn't work. Ah. Uh. Do you have Pierce and Blunt? Do you have Pierce? I know he has Blunt some- Yeah, fuck it, hammer and nail. I would have gone for the, um, the Pool of Blood, but it's too risky. Every time he takes hits, he takes more stagger damage, it's too much. Three random enemies are afflicted with a random status element. One Paralysis, one Feeble, one Disarm, one Bind, one Fragile. Individually determined, or... That could be useful. What is this? You all five of your shit rolled max. Hmm. 
19 to 27 versus 20 to 39. But I think it's your best chance. You have got blade unlocked going. That is happening. You gotta try. God, you're gonna run out of... Yeah, you're gonna run out of light real quick on this one. Atelier logic to see if you can maybe stagger her before, um, you know, before the fight, before, before that happens. I don't know. That didn't work. Oh boy. Oh, it was close though. Ah, oh, it worked. I'm a genius. Oh, I'm so good at video games. God damn. Yeah, well, yeah, we're here now. Um, old Boys Workshop, anything that restores light. <laughs> anything. Also, well, that would have been nice, but I can't. Uh, well, that's actually all we can do. Oh, fuck, man. Oh. Restore three light, draw one page. And this is restore three light, draw one page. Okay, well, may as well go for that. Upsetting that this is all you can do this turn. I would have loved to have gotten a Durandal in there, but oh well. Now she's going to manifest. All right, let's see how tough you are. Whoa, whoa, buddy, remember the principle of let your heart burn, but keep your head cool. Look, your friend and I were both just doing our job. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what are you doing now? Okay, it's just standard shit for now. We're still all right. You still can't... I don't think you can... Yeah, you're one card off of using Furioso which we desperately need to get going. We really do. So we need to work Zelkova Workshop in there somewhere. You've got a spear going, so we can ignore that. Upstanding Slash. Could Zelkova Workshop do it? Try. Then Level Slash. Alice Workshop, and then Old Boys Workshop, because you need the economy. And we're just going to rely on this for now. Good. Good. Not good. A better. Good. 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 Very good. Excellent. Okay, that was some good, some good you did there. Interesting. Deal and take twice as much physical damage. That's scary. After winning two or more clashes with a single combat page, inflict ice splinters to the opponent at the end of each scene. Characters with three or more ice splinters become immobilized next scene. Let's quickly check her shit, okay? Restore one additional light, draw one more page, manifest ego. Yeah, manifest, manifest. She can regain it if she loses it. If a character fails to deal 40 plus damage with attacks within a scene, take stagger damage equal to 40% of the max stagger assist. Lose ego manifested. I think Blizzard might be the way to go, because slowing her down for a turn would actually screw with her quite badly. And then Frost Splinter. Okay. All right. Well. Oh, you don't. Oh no, you do have. You have all nine. So now you can use Furio. So whenever you like. Um, but we're gonna want to save that for obvious reasons. Maybe hit her with Frost Splinter and then. Do some economy shit. Because you're guaranteed to have four cards in hand every turn. And that's just gonna be free hits. Try this. Try this, Roland. See how it goes. That will give her debuffs. Good. Very good. Very good. And she didn't deal enough damage that turn. Yeah, which brought her down. There we go. 
she will regain her manifestation. What's well, yeah, that's pointless now. She'll regain her ego in three turns. I don't want her to last long enough to do that. Straight up. I don't think she'll die this turn. That's free, so you may as well. Gain strength. Do that. I don't think she'll die this turn. I reckon she's got one more turn in her. Big hits. Big hits. Oh, she might die this turn. No, she won't die this turn. Okay. Well. On Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, this can only end one way. You know the only way that this can end. <laughs> we have to. It's so important to end it this way. It has to be the coolest possible moment. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, I tell you. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, so don't use any ranged attacks or she will... Um, they'll kill her first, so don't do that. Don't do that. We're contesting the infinite die, which means that will go first, but I am going to, you know, contest everything else to make sure we don't accidentally throw the fire at the last minute. Oh, I'm really excited. Go for it, Roland. Finish it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh. Yes. She sure had tremendous strength. After all that bullshit of Roland fucking stumbling in, drunk, losing, technically, what was it two rounds? Technically losing two rounds, like, laughably. He had to end it like a cool guy. We had to remember, we had to be reminded that Roland is actually kind of a badass. And he did it. Oh boy, did he do it. He certainly fucking did it. What a legend. Good job, Roland. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our three unique characters did in fact manage to beat Callie solo. Now, I know, I know, I do know. I mentioned this at the start of the video and I want to mention it now. I know you guys have probably seen this shit a thousand times before. I'm sure you've done it yourselves a thousand times before. And above all that, I bet you've done it better. I bet you've done it way better. I bet you have much stronger ways by which to beat, to have solo builds, like really good solo builds. I bet mine were inefficient and or sloppy and like, I'm totally fine with all that I don't give a fuck but I just I never did it myself really during the series because I focused more on making sure I actually beat the game than like experimenting too much although I did experiment here and there but solo builds was something I tend to I typically stayed away from because everyone had submitted their nuggets and we all had all these unique characters in here and I didn't want to sideline them for the sake of doing solo builds but now now we can do whatever the fuck we want and I wanted to give it a go, and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that, actually. Uh, the fights themselves were really cool. I love the concept of them. I love the stupid mental image I had for how everyone was, how everyone sort of reacted to the situation. It was great. It was really enjoyable. I enjoyed doing this very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Deck Delusions. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to Beep, Adash Sanjeev, Alkir, Honeydew Corporation, Sweet Baby Red, MB Alias, Lord Skullington, Jess Kitty, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir Worlds, Jumping with Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP, 106A, Namad, and Kenny T 100 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This was fun. Don't forget to keep making submissions. I know it seems like I'm not really looking at them, but I promise you I am. And I am drawing, I'm going to be looking at the entire list of submissions basically each time before I um, decide what I'm going to do for the next one. So, make sure, you're make sure you're submitting them, make sure you're resubmitting them. It would be easier if you post them on the Discord, but if you don't want to join the Discord, in the comments it's just fine. I do check there too. I have been checking there. So... Make sure you submit your decks. Next time will be one of your suggestions. I indulged myself here. I'm happy to now see whatever other people have got. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Whatever happens next time, and uh, I'm thinking it's going to be something interesting, I can tell. You're a creative bunch, you've got some interesting decks, and I'm looking forward to see what you, seeing what you put out. But above all, I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye. Goodbye.